Ugh. And that is a shocking video that has emerged of a New York City police officer decking a small woman in the face and sending her to the ground. This video has gone viral. It was taken by a bystander on 136th Street in Harlem, which is the neighborhood north of Manhattan. Uh, the police were trying to make an arrest at the time when several people then approached them, including this woman. She went up to an officer and appears to slap him with an open hand on his shoulder. And he then very quickly advances towards her and punches her, sending her sprawling to the ground. According to the New York City Police Department, the Harlem cops were at the time seeking to arrest somebody who was wanted in connection with attempted murder. A New York Police Department spokesperson says that several people interfered with, with police by physically assaulting the officers. Uh, there is some video context here as well, because the video actually starts about 15 seconds before the officer flattened her. Watch. <laughs> The woman appears to be in some pain as she's on the ground, but the police still handcuff and arrest her and then remove her as the video ends. The officer, based on the badge and precinct number he was wearing, has been identified by local media as Officer Kendo Kinsey with the 32nd Precinct, which is in Harlem. Uh, Kinsey has been reached by a reporter and Kinsey is aware of the video, but is apparently not commenting. Based on a database from the Citizen Complaint Review Board, Kinsey has been with the New York City Police Department for 17 years. And in the course of time that the database has been around, which is the last eight years, Kinsey has had six different complaints against him. Two of those complaints were validated, in other words, found to be true during an internal review by New York City police. In one instance, Kinsey was found to have been discourteous, and another, Kinsey apparently abused his authority. In other words, even before this video, there has been evidence that Officer Kinsey has a chip on his shoulder, and that can be dangerous. Now, I get the argument that you should never run up to police and interfere with them while they're making an arrest, and you should certainly, certainly never strike a police officer. Nonetheless, anybody should have been able to recognize that this woman was half the size of the police officer who was responding. And if he couldn't recognize that his punch was disproportionate, was far more powerful than anything that she was trying to deliver to him, then this guy has got some serious problems. To be fair, police are allowed to use force when their physical safety is being threatened. But was this officer's physical safety being threatened by this woman? Maybe, but did she deserve therefore being punched to the ground? I mean, is this how the officer reacts in regular life? Imagine if he's got a teenager. Suppose you or I have a teenager or a young child who is physically flailing at us. Do we automatically punch them to the ground or do we restrain them and hold them and keep them that way until they can calm down? For this officer to be so emotionally uncorked and to not be able to restrain as opposed to knocking this person to the ground shows he's got some problems and should not be in the New York City Police Department. The NYPD is not talking about whether there's going to be any disciplinary action, but one hopes that there will be and that this officer gets some help and certainly gets a time out to work on his problems. Man, I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Tell me what you think in the comment section.